welcome back. Okay, so today we have a few things that we are working on. Um, first, I went ahead and killed a couple pigs because we had such a great butcher shop, I just could not resist it. But we also have still too many. So um, we're going to let these guys grow up and we need a place to start tanning their hides so that we don't have to go all the way out to the... Uh, Ranger's place out there to do it. So, over here, I've started construction on the Tanner's house. It's not done by any stretch of the means other than the production area. Planning on filling these up with water. These will have our flux water, our rinsing water, and our curing water. And then I need to go ahead and place down a log over here. So I'm thinking we're going to go with oak this time. It looks nice, and it kind of keeps with the theme. And then I'm just going to basically finish this up. It's going to be a regular house, same as every other. Uh, the difference is it got pushed back. Because if you'll notice, in the front over here, these have two wide. But we needed over here three wide. So I'm gonna have this little fencing here. We're just gonna do the uh, courtyard the same way we did with the other places. And then that's just gonna be a, a regular place here. So nothing really special. Just, yeah. I'm gonna do that part off camera. You basically saw everything you need to from the tanner. As far as the tailor is concerned, we have that building being worked on over here. This time I went with a slightly larger build. It's not a normal house. I extended this out by one more so that it's flush with the bottom. What this allows us to do is it allows us to have a greater amount. Oh, I don't have those blocks with me. I'm gonna grab those blocks real quick and then I will be back. Okay, we are back. So, as I was saying, uh, we're just gonna basically have the first floor extended out a little bit more. So, if that right there is the more or less landing, and that and that is getting taken out by stairs we have more landing here we could put a loom here a loom here and a loom here and have ourselves a work area so basically what happens is you come out here you shear your sheep you come in here you grab the tool you need you make your uh, wool yarn then you process it then we can go upstairs and put it in the chest to be sold later. Or, I could put it in... But that's that's going to be a wall, so that's... Yeah, ignore that. So that's not actual space. Or I could put it over here in a chest right there to be sold later. So, yeah, it just, it, it kind of works. Light this up so it's not too dark. And there. This one I'll finish up like every other house, with that exception, with the looms going here, the three looms here, and instead of a backyard, I just extended the uh, sheep's grazing area, so you have easier access to shearing the sheep. Makes sense for a tailor. On to the next building. Okay, so now we have a place to tan the leather, and we have a place to properly uh, go through all the different things like the sheep. Now we need to get ourselves a smokehouse. And that's what we're mainly going to be working on this episode. Towards the end of the episode, I will be coming back and going over... Oh, by the way, we're going to be putting a house next to the tanner too. Uh, just FYI. There's not much progress on that, but it's a regular house. You guys have seen me do that tons of the times. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, with that being said, I have a little bit of the background there. It, yeah, it's just, 
it's a regular house, so I'm not really feeling the need to show you that on camera. We're also going to be putting up a, a cheese shop over here. But I'm waiting on these hickory saplings to grow so that I can get them up and out of the way and actually have some wood to work with because kind of running low on hickory. So with that being said, let's get on back over to what the main project today is while we're waiting. So today we're working on a smokehouse. So what we want to do is we want to pull these torches on up. Get them out of the way. There we go. And I was thinking that if what we do is we elevate this up a little bit. Let's see, where's that going to lead? That's going to go right here. Then we could put the floor on top of that. And I kind of want to have... So it's going to be kind of like this. Okay? I kind of want to have an entrance, though. And I don't want it messing with the road. So I'm going to have the entrance over here. That looks nice. Okay. And then I'm going to dig this out real quick. And I will be back. Okay, that's been dug out, um, so let's go ahead and throw in the floor, and then the wall. So once again, we're just literally coming by here, filling it in. And what I want this area to do is serve a couple purposes. Um, by the way, there's the pumpkin. So yeah, I do hide them quite decently. Anyhow, um, I want this lower area to kind of serve as an ash uh, catcher but I on a more practical minecraft purpose wanted to serve as the area where I hold all the brining barrels so that I can have my uh, my meats brining before I smoke them and it takes a lot of um, a lot of brining barrels in order to get it ready, so, yeah. We do want this elevated a little bit, so that I can kind of show you the wall. And then I want to show you the way that it's going to be laid out. Because that is also pretty important. Okay, so there we go. Now these uh these smoke pits work in a a three by three but kind of as a cross shape. So it's like these blocks and that block. Okay? So then what we want is those are getting taken care of and we want the next one to go here. So that, that way these blocks right here get taken care of. Then we want the next one to go here. So that these blocks get taken care of. Then we got one more to place. So we're going to have a total of four fire pits in here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the entrance be right here. So you just walk in. Do we want the entrance over here? We could also put it over here. Um... I don't know, let me think about that real quick. You know what, no, I, I, like, I like having the entrance up here. So we're, we're going to have the entrance here, which means that these walls over here need to be our supports for the actual process. So let me get the string and then I will come back and show you that. Okay, so we have our string back now. Uh, what we're going to do is, and these can only stretch a total of five blocks, but that's okay because this is only four wide. Uh, the smoking area is only three blocks wide, so yeah, it works just fine. You just right click with string in your hand on the wall, and what we're going to do is we're just going to have four racks like this. Okay, 
So that's four lines, four long. That's 16 uh, actual strings. And then each one of these can take up two pieces, one here and one here. So what's going to happen is we're going to need, if we run a full rack, uh, 32 wool yarn to tie them onto it. And to get them off, you just shift right click and they just pop right off. You lose the string, but that's okay because it, it's already done its purpose. And this smokehouse is going to be able to just, it's going to process about 32 uh, stacks at a time. So with that being said, we are going to need a significant amount of barrels if we want to even come close to that. So we're going to need barrels on this wall. We're going to need barrels on that wall. That's going to be eight. That's going to be another six. So that's 14. Okay. That's not enough. What we could do, we, we still want a walkway here. So what we could do is we could come in here and add those other four. I think you can still access everything just fine that way. Uh, that's going to get us about 18. Um, it's still not quite going to be what we want. Uh, but you know, we do have a cellar. We could brine the meat and then later come by and take all the stacks of meat out. Bring it all on up here and run these. It's going to take quite a lot of wood in order to process, It's, but it's going to be more efficient to just maximize what we can use it with. So let's, let's close that up, get some walls going on. Let me rethink that real quick because I don't want to be stepping on top of a fire pit when I walk in here. There we go, okay. Won't be stepping on it. I can come in here, throw the logs where they need to go, and then hop on out. So we don't really need this to be very tall. At this point, we could be putting the roof on. But I also want to have a door here. So I'm thinking that if we just do a little decorative design, kind of like kind of like this deal right here, then that could go up another one. And then we could, and I'm, I'm going to need to get more bricks to finish this up with. Uh, this was what? Dolomite? Okay. Then we could have like a little vent right here. So this kind of angles on, up and out. And then it has a little vent. So all the smoke just comes out this way. And it's not like it's going to be run constantly either. So it should not really bother the people at the end. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sleep off the night and then I will get back to you guys to do some more so you guys can hopefully see some of the finished products before the end of the episode. Just wanted to come back and let you guys see this real quick because this is like so ridiculously cool. I mean like, it's yeah, it's mind boggling. So if anyone ever tells you that it's not going to grow like this, yeah, they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Because it totally does, and it's totally epic. So I'm going to go worry about, like, destroying this down real quick, and then I'm going to get back to work. Uh, for the most part, an awful lot of the, uh, the build has been done so far. So it probably won't take too much longer on my end to get this ready for you guys. It's just there's there's so little to show you on the on the buildings that I'm making that it's that it's really feels pointless for me to do it. Unless if I'm showing you enough content. If that makes any sense. I mean the tanner's the same thing as a regular house. You move it back one. Congrats. The the tailor, it's the same as a workshop. You just you fill it out. And then you just open it up to the to the sheep. It's not really complicated. 
the smokehouse, that's a bit different, so I'm, I'm showing you that. Um, as far as the cheese shop, it's... It's going to be intricate enough to actually warrant me showing you, so... Yeah. With that being said, though, I'm going to get back to working on this. And I'll see you guys soon. And welcome back. Okay, so this is the update on the smokehouse. I did wait a little bit for you guys. A little bit. Uh, these are full blocks, so they are spawnable. But what we can do is we can slab this one. Half slab this one. Stair this one. Then we're going to slab and then stair again. So slab and then stair. And that just kind of gives it that sloped appearance to it. Uh, never mind you this, because that... I, I put the door in the wrong place and chiseled this block, which means I couldn't put a door here. So I'm going to take this fence gate, put it downstairs, and then put the uh, the door up there. Then you just like slab, well not slab, but uh, stair right here. Leave a couple blocks open so that the smoke doesn't build too much in here and it has a place to go. Because if it doesn't, you're likely gonna catch your other buildings on fire so just warning you then let's put some details on the inside of this and then there we go I went ahead and uh, put the fire pits in here you can see kind of now what it's gonna happen you come in here you throw some logs on till they max out you check the time and then you can go about your business now as far as the lower section down here um, and yeah as I said I'm gonna replace the store with that up there kind of switch them out um, you have six barrels over here four barrels here and then eight here so you can do 18 uh, brine sessions at a time and then the smokehouse right above this does 32 smokings so yeah I haven't filled these up with uh, salt water or vinegar yet so it's it's gonna it's gonna be a process so let me grab my pick I'll switch those out real quick and you can see the finished product of this one okay we're back I switched them out and more or less this is the uh, the finished product It doesn't have a lot of decorations, but that might change later. I don't know. I might decide it to leave it this way. After all, not everything was pretty in uh, the, mid the medieval ages, or even the dark ages for that matter. It was just more of form and function over really artistic license so there's the smokehouse let's show you the tailor so we have some for our uh, burlap we have some for our, uh, wool and we have some for our silk we also have a little holder for the uh, Oh, what are they called? Spindles. Wish that we had uh, spinning wheels in here. That would make it a lot nicer. All the cloth gets stored up here. So you just... You come out here, you grab it. You spin it. You weave it. And then you put it up there to be sold. When I get more bricks, I'll probably come back over here and... Uh, put a door on that. I really, I want it to, to have a door. It's just right now I don't have the extra bricks. So moving on over here. The house for the person who's going to be working the smokehouse is not quite done yet. It needs a few more things. Mostly it needs more uh, mud bricks. Needs a bit more dirt though. 
probably gonna have to open up a quarry, if for no other reason than just to get dirt. Chimney's not done either. So, yeah, that house is still under construction. Not really livable right now. As far as the tanners, though, we're waiting on another rain session to fill this up so that we can turn that into lime water. We have our other waters switched out over here. And then we're currently making... Ooh, did... Yeah, it finished. Okay. And then we have our tannin back here. And this is what we're scraping, so... That's all good. This house is more or less done. I need to put some chairs in here and some beds. Other than that, I just need to hoe out a little garden, put a small walkway right there, and there we go. Okay, so we went ahead and made a tanner today. We made a tailor. We uh, made a smokehouse, and we're working on another house. The only thing left I really wanted to do today was to go ahead and make the cheese shop. It's more or less going to have the same pattern as a regular house, but it is going to have a few differences. And that's that's kind of why I wanted to do that on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see how much time we have left on this episode right now. And if I have enough, I'll include it. If not, it'll be on the next episode. So be right back. Okay, so I have enough time to point out some of the details, but not the actual construction. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and put up the frame and then get ready to point out the details. The things of it which are different from my other buildings so far. And then I'll come back and share it with you. And that'll be today's episode. With the next episode picking up and making the bakery, which is a completely different structure, unlike the other ones. So that's going to have a full build on it. Till then, I will see you soon. Okay, and we are back. Um, what we basically have gotten done is we framed it. We've done most of the wood construction, not all of it, obviously, since the roof is not on yet. Um, and we don't have the doors in yet, or the glass, but whatever. Anyhow, you get the idea based off of how much I've actually given here. It's going to be a regular house, as normal, with the hearth being here. Obviously, keep in mind, this beam gets pushed back because of the hearth. And then we usually have all this as garden, with that being part of the chimney that sticks out from the house. Well, what we did instead is instead of making it a garden, we put these columns here and pillars. Then we connected them up to the house, and then we're later going to wall this in. And we're not going to worry about windows on this at all, okay? It's going to be a solid wall, solid wall, and solid wall. And then the roof, it's going to be a simple matter of just slabbing it gradually on down. Very much like what we did for the porch of the brewery, where we just gradually slab it on down until it comes all the way down. And then what's going to happen is this will be the area where all the magic of the cheese making happens. Now, later on, as our city does grow, well, as our town grows into a city, these shops, they're very simple right now. And that's to be expected. Later on, we're going to start evolving the shops themselves. And they're going to start taking away the gardens behind the shops and exchanging them for more space. We'll have another room there, and then we'll move all of the residential up here. So right now, this is going to have a roof coming down. But later, as we change it on over, this will move up here. The glass will be broken out. We'll put a door here and make that a back room with beds and whatnot. And then we'll move the dining room table from down here up here. So that's just kind of the way it's going to be working. That's the way it's going to be evolving. And that's more or less the look of the cheese shop. At the beginning of next episode, when we open it up, we will I'll, I'll come back and I'll make sure that you guys see the finished cheese shop. 
and then afterwards we'll go ahead and start working on making the bakery which is going to be a pretty unique building it's it's not one of these buildings that we just copy that form and keep working with it throughout most of the the build no it's it's going to be pretty unique a lot like the brewery in the uh, smokehouse in unique level but yeah that's it for today and I will see you next time.